All righty, guys, this is a fragrance review video. First off, got my coffee from 7 Eleven. <clears throat> and coffee is always a good way to start your morning off. All right, let's get into it. So, I recently brought a discontinued scent from the house of Bond number nine. I was able to get it for a very low price. It was a steal. It was like the tag is $90. They gave me free shipping. Um, again, like I said, it's a discontinued scent from the house of Bond number nine. It's Bond number nine. I love New York. <clears throat> so, came across this scent while just shopping around for other scents to add to my collection. And I came across this scent. And upon doing my research on it, noticed that it was discontinued. And also noticed that for the size of this fragrance, the price that they were selling it for was on point. Like it pretty much for me was a steal. Couldn't go wrong with it. 90 bucks for a discontinued scent. It's year round. Before I brought the scent, I um, went on YouTube and typed in Bonham Night I Love New York reviews. And I actually got, for the most part, good reviews. If any of you guys are familiar with um, Bowtie Fragrance Guy, uh, I think his name is Darian. He spoke very highly of the scent. Um, everyone actually spoke highly of the scent, except for one person who didn't speak highly of the scent. So after doing my research and my reviews on the scent, I um, brought the scent. <clears throat> and it arrived this past Saturday. And due to me being busy yesterday, I just really didn't get a chance to do the review. Um, but I did say that I wanted to do the review um, while I'm here at work before I change and um, get started. So this scent, I love New York Bond number nine. This scent actually grew on me when I first got the scent and I tried it on. I didn't see anything exciting about it or appealing about the scent. Um, and began to think that I just wasted my money on it because again, it wasn't a very appealing scent. Got it and I um, sprayed it and tried it on however you want to put it. One thing that I will say about this scent is for the price point of the scent, for the, the price point you know, that I brought the scent for, although it's not that appealing, still can't go wrong because again, it's a year round fragrance scent. Year round fragrance. Um, one thing I did find interesting about this is <clears throat> the opening is very comes off as very fruity, very summertime, springtime-ish. Then it the dry down is like winter fallish. Then for some reason it goes back. Fruity scent. So I found that to be very interesting when it came down to this scent. How it opens up, then it transitions to the mid, then the dry, then it'll go back to its original opening note. So I found that to be very interesting, especially coming from the Bond Number Nine house, because they usually don't make scents that opens up fruity, then dries down to a wintry. Musk, um, leather type scent, then transitions back to this original um, opening um, of the scent. So I found that to be very interesting. Overall, the scent, if I were to rate this scent on 
scale of one to ten, and of course, ten being the highest, uh, because it's ten. Again, I don't regret buying this set. I mean, it is what it is. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, again, what really, what I really found to be very interesting about this is the opening summer, spring, dry down, winter, fall, thus making it a year-round fragrance scent. Then it transitions back to its original opening note. So I found that to be interesting. Um, I would say if you have 90 bucks to spend and you want an additional scent to add to your collection, look for something year round, uh, it smells pretty good. Um, again, you have Add another scent to your collection. Why not go for it? What is it going to really hurt? Uh, I will also say if you have a crazy collection, like something that, let's say, Kevin Sanders had or the Bowtie Fragrance guy has, I mean, or um, Big Beer Business, you have a scent collection like what they have. Adding this to it, could it be pointless? Could it be? I don't know. Um, I mean, like I said, if you have 90 bucks to spend, cool, go for it. If you're tight with money and you're undecided, don't. It's really up to you and what you're looking for. Now, if you're, if you're the type of guy you'll have maybe five cents and you have $90 to spend, why not spend the $90 and add this to your collection? Because again, this isn't a bad cent. Um, I know in a few hours it's going to um, go to the mid, then to the um, dry down, and uh, I'm going to get some of that fall and winter notes in it. So yeah, it's, um, it's definitely year-round. Up some leather. I picked up some leather on it when I first sprayed it. My first time I ever sprayed, I picked up some leather. Um, also, I think I picked up some patchouli, some vetiver. Um, not a bad scent. Like I said, it's discontinued, so <clears throat> um, don't know why Bond Number Nine stopped making it. Another thing: if you get your hands on a Bond Number Nine product that is discontinued. And if you can get your hands on a Bond Number no. 9 product for 90 bucks, a 3.3 fluid ounce at that, this size, you really might want to think hard about getting it. Because to get a Bond Number no. 9 product for $90, that's discontinued, that's 3.3 ounce. You're, I mean, that you're just not going to find. So why not bite the bullet and buy? Again, what does it hurt? But then again, like I said, if you have fifteen hundred cents, like a lot of people on YouTube have, just, I mean, why add this extra product to it? It's just ninety bucks. In. Why not just take that ninety dollars, put a couple extra bucks with it, and buy a better cent? I don't know. So, I don't regret buying it. Um, I think it's a good scent. Again, if I was to rate this scent on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 6. I might make this my go-to fragrance. I might. don't know. I have two go-to fragrances. I'm thinking about adding another Bond number 9 scent to that go-to fragrance. Um, and this might be the fourth addition to my go-to set, go-to collection, however you want to put it. All righty, guys. So that's all that I have for you. Wanted to hop on real quick to do a review of this. Um, I love New York by Bond number nine. Also, guys, just know 
You don't need a lot of symptoms. Okay. <clears throat> I would say four, three, four at the very most is all that you need. You don't need a lot of symptoms. All right. I have all the symptoms that I have because it's what I'm into. I've always been into sense. However, I didn't get into it heavily until recently. I mean, you don't, don't need as many senses as I have. I mean, it's like if I show you my shoe collection or all the clothes I have, you'd be like, why do you have all of that stuff? I mean, the average person just doesn't have all of that. Why do you need 40 or 50 cents? I mean, you don't. I would say just start out three or four cents. Year round, if you wanted to do it that way, get you maybe one more month cent, um, then two year round cents. All right, um, pound four great vertebra, you can't go wrong with that. That's year round, that is a great cent. Um, I would also say another good cent year round that's really not going to break your pocket, Mont Black Explore. Mont Black, Mont Block, however it's pronounced. All right. Great year round scent. You can wear that fall, winter, spring. You can wear that for any occasion. Office, cookout, bar, mispa. Um, Taking the lady out on a date. Um, you're in New York City and you want to go to Times Square for whatever reason or another. Um, you're, hell, I don't know, in California, you want to drive on the Golden Gate Bridge. You just want to smell good while driving. Wear that scent literally with anything for any occasion. You cannot go wrong with that scent. Um, and if you want something a little sweet, Parfums de Marley, you get the Pegasus. That's fall, winter, and spring. All right. That's a great scent. Parfums de Marley, they don't last. That collection doesn't last. Very long on my skin, it doesn't project loudly on my skin, but the opening is amazing. That almond is what stands out in that scent. Bam, those are three scents I just gave you that you can start off with. <clears throat> you can go to a third party website and buy them, look into eBay, look into Amazon. You don't have to go to Neiman Marcus to get those scents, to get expensive scents. You don't have to go to Bloomingdale's. Why spend $400 on a scent when you can? And get it for maybe two hundred dollars, and you can get free shipping and handling. Okay. Another thing: stop listening to people when they say fragrance net, fragrance X is not reliable. It is reliable. You can get those scents at a discounted price. It's backed by the Better Business Bureau. It has a A plus rating. So how are they not legit? Okay, that makes no sense. I don't get when people say those websites aren't legit. It's legit. <clears throat> it's back by the Better Business Bureau. Okay. I mean, they're legit. All right. How are they not legit? Why would you go to Neiman Marcus and spend three hundred sixty dollars, or you can go to FragranceX dot com and get those scents for maybe one hundred two hundred? A lot of times, you can find the discounted rate for those scents. You'll find that they're discounted because you can get a test. Well, what is a test? Basically, a test is a fragrance that hasn't been used. Nine out of ten times, it's not going to come with its original cap and it's going to come in a plain box. Now, boxes, ah, uh, start smelling even better. Boxes, hand matter is really your preference, but a lot of times, if you buy a test um, scent, it's not going to come with its original box. Ten out of ten times, it's not the box. Nine out of ten times, it's not going to come to the original cap. All right, this right here, cap. Ask yourself, does a cap matter? Ask yourself, does, does the original box matter? What a lot of people don't know is when you buy cents, you're not just paying for the cents. 
paying for the cab, you're paying for the box. Those things are crucial in buying consent because it plays a part in the protection and the integrity of the sin. But then again, ask yourself, do you need a cab? Do you need a box? All right. Those things can matter because believe it or not, that helps protect the integrity but why not just do what I do? If it comes in a paper box, if it comes in a trash box, if it doesn't come in this original box, why not just do what I do? Put it in a big box, an like Amazon size box, where you know you order an Amazon package and it comes in that box. Just keep that box, put it in there, and put it in a nice cool area in your room. anywhere so why would a cap matter I mean, are you going anywhere to where the atomizer is going to break if the answer is no it doesn't matter all right just buy the scent for a cheaper price you don't have to necessarily go to boom never in the market now i would also say don't eliminate those places because at the end of the day, I don't know about Bloomingdale's because I don't buy fragrances there. I have a great hookup guy who works at Damon Marcus. But you can get lots of samples from there. So why eliminate it? They're going to give you endless amounts of samples. When I go to Damon Marcus, I tell them if I'm going to spend this amount of money, I want this amount of samples. All right. If I'm spending $700, I want at least 20 different samples. All right? If you can't give that to me, I'm not going to spend my money here. Trust me, when you tell them that, they're going to find a way to get you what you want. Why? Because they need that commission. All right? If I spend... I have a general rule. If I spend $700, and I never really go over $700. If I spend $700, I'm leaving out $20. Easy. You need to give me 20 cents. And three hundred dollars, get about six or seven samples. All right. Some spring, some winter, some fall, some summer, some year round. Really don't care how you do it, but I need samples. All right. Three hundred dollars, give me about six samples. Seven hundred twenty. Not nineteen. Not eighteen. I need twenty. They're going to find a way to give you what you want. All right? So don't necessarily eliminate them from your list of buying fragrances. Okay? But for the most part, if you're cheap and tight with your man like me, go to a third-party website. Again, like I said, you can get those scents for a discounted price. A lot of times, it's not going to come in this original box. It's so, I've spoken long enough, and I do have work to do. I got to change, and I got a lot of stuff to do. All right, so, again, this scent is from the house of bar number nine. I love New York. It is discontinued, but you can get it from donorshop.com for 90 bucks, free shipping and handling. So, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to pay for that. When this runs out, am I going to go hunting for this? In just to add to my collection, no. But it's going to do what I need it to do. Um, projection on this, I will say one to two feet at the very most. Not one to two feet. Longevity, um, I'm going to say seven hours. All right. Seven hours, somewhere within that time frame. Um, I don't know if this is a day or night scent, definitely year round, but I don't think, I mean, if you wore this at night, I think it'd be fine. Um, so yeah, that's all that I have on this, and I'm out.